What up guys, welcome back to the garage, man. Today's gonna be one of those clean up type of days, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of work that we gotta do around the house. Starting with, freaking braving over here. I don't know what happened to the dog food balls. I can't find them. I don't know where the dog food balls are at. Have to clean this thing up. Find somewhere else to put that shit, cause this is a dog food ball, man. Hey, Braven, freed up a dog food ball. You're welcome. We gotta find somewhere to put all those nuts and bolts you had in it though. All right, so I kind of filled up my little work environment here. You know what? We could probably use this box. So this was sent out by these guys. It's a versatile jump starter. I mean, you guys know we're always having dead battery problems around here and we do have some jump starters, but they only work half the time. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. Oh, fancy little packaging, huh? Oh, that's dope. Comes with a freaking bag. What is this? Feels like there's stuff in there. Oh, yeah, that's because there is stuff in there. Okay, we got our alligator clips. Because this is a battery jump starter. Wow. And it is a uh, air pump. And, oh, it's a charger. Yeah. Oh, crap. I hope it's charged. Is it charged? Of course not. Why would it be charged? Son of a bitch. Oh, that's an extra. Right? No, it just screws onto there. Oh. Oh. I thought it was an extra. I was gonna say, because last time I had one of these, this ripped. Ugh. It wasn't one that somebody sent out, it was one that uh You went and bought? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, it just screws right on. Bang bang bang. What's up? Put in the EK. Now, well, if only it was charged. Oh. oh, oh, 100%. Dude, huge shout out to these guys for sending this thing at 100% charge. So let's go see if it'll air the tire up. All right, coming up to my cracked wheel. I will get this fixed one day, I guarantee it. Sick. All right, so it does have a setting to where you can set it to whatever PSI you want this to shut off at. Bro, that thing aired that tire up pretty damn fast, man. You guys know I've been using that other Audu one, which the Audu one works great, don't get me wrong. But this one, you have the option to plug it into the cigarette lighter like the Audu one, or if the battery is charged, you don't have to hassle with that. So, um, it, well, I aired up the tire from completely dead up to 32 PSI. Now it's at 75%. It's also a jump starter. And as you can see, it's got your USB ports and stuff on the side as well, which you could like charge your cell phone or use it for whatever it is that you need to use it for. It's got little flashlights. What is this? Oh, yep, jump starter plugs in right there. All right, so later in the video, we'll go out and we'll see if this thing will jump start Max, man, because Max has a dead ass battery. Just like that, everything fits inside this little bag, which I ain't gonna lie, don't get caught carrying it because it looks like a freaking man purse. What's up? <laughs> for real, I'll have the link uh, in the description down below for this, and I do believe that they are giving us a discount code for it as well for the DB fam. So if there is, I'll have that in the link as well. And what's cool about it is it is an Amazon link, so uh, you don't have to put your debit card information into some random foreign account type of freaking website. You know what I'm saying? It's Amazon. Where we all know and trust and order stuff from on a daily basis. Throw it in your trunk and forget about it, bro, until the day that you need it. And you're going to appreciate that it's there. Man. Are you waiting for Yeah. <laughs> appreciate it, dude. That's sick. Thanks, brother. Bro, you have no idea what is in that. You know, but I have to do a test video. We have to test these. The four. I, I think I think we're going to end up putting them on the DA. But I, it has to be something I have to, act, I have to test them. Test to see if they work. Yeah, you guys, this right here is the uh, what would you call it? the new and improved set of coilovers from Max Speeding Rods. Oh, so I got the new new. Yeah, the new new. Those those all black ones. No. Yeah, way. bro, they're freaking dope. Like they look dope. Like supposedly the dampening on them is so much better. Like they want they want me to actually test them. You know what I'm saying? Like do a before and after and what i'm thinking i'm gonna do them on is uh 
Probably khaki, bro. So we gotta get khaki up and running. Cause I just gotta go. I just gotta go out and do some cornering. Do some, you know? I just gotta go out and get uh, get down on them, bro. Like see how they feel. All right, but we'll get into those later. Uh, I've already done a product for this video, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disrespect them by doing two products in one video. <laughs> I gotta get this damn yard mowed today, man. I've been putting it off. I ain't gonna lie. The yards kind of went to hell. I mean, it's still green-ish. It's kind of turning a little, little yellowish, especially out in that neighborhood over there. But I, I need to get back on it. I really do. The sprinklers are all broken once again, but I'm gonna fix those as well. What the hell? Easy freaking peasy. Now it's this side of the yard over here. It's always a pain in the ass, bro. I've never shown this before anytime I've ever like mow the yard. But yeah, getting a lawnmower through here. Yeah, it's a little challenging, but I make it work. Finally gonna put this thing to some use. Go touch up some stuff with the weed eater. And then we'll move on to something. Probably something more interesting, hopefully. That's not just yard work. Alrighty, out front is officially done. I need to take those chairs back out back, but. <laughs> Freaking door. <laughs> How's the backyard coming? Just gotta finish picking this up and I can pressure wash out the booth. Pressure wash out, oh yeah. Just gotta run around back here with the weed eater, huh? Yeah. Toby, what are you doing, man? You know what these dogs did, bro? Remember we had two nice car covers on Gotham and Venom sent out here? Do you notice that don't you do it? There's no car cover on it now. He jumps on my hood. You notice Gotham doesn't have a cover now? Venom still does? Huh? 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 Yeah, they tore the car cover off my car and ripped the thing into shreds all over the entire backyard. So these dogs freaking terrorize this backyard, man. I don't know how but somehow they got into the spray booth. Like that's the reason why I have to like put something in front of the door to hold it shut. Would put a latch on it, but I'm too afraid Brave and be like messing with me and always latch me in there. <laughs> Little anyhow, they got in here somehow and they literally shit all over the place. There was like five freaking piles of shit just everywhere. So I'm talking about you. F I know it was you guys too. Cause they were huge ass piles of shit. Uh oh, am I talking to you? Am I talking to you, baby girl? Huh? What's up, mama? <laughs> What's going on? You're such a pretty mama. You're such. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! I can't give one. Can't give one dog attention without getting pummeled. Oh, look at this mean ass son of a bitch. Don't worry. This thing's gonna be out in the streets, hurting all the haters' feelings soon. Oh man, dude, I'm at such a loss at the what to do for a video for today, man. I don't have enough time to, like, all the things I need to do. There's not enough time in the day to be able to get them done in order to make a video, you know what I mean? But I'm on like a 10 day video streak right now. I hate to freaking lose it, you know? And just, you know, yard clipping video. Yeah, you're getting a yard, you're getting a yard work video. <laughs> no, but for real, I, um. I need this for the porch. I was going to do the porch. But I was literally just organizing the porch. Yeah, but I do it better though. Okay, like, sure, you can do it. Yeah. It's all fine. It's all fine, Daddy. Yeah, I, I believe me. If it's gonna get done better, I'm fine with doing the work. Yeah, the thing is, yesterday, well, the day before yesterday, I kind of got into some personal business that had me up literally all night. Like I didn't go to sleep until noon the very next day. So that day kind of just became like a waste. I didn't get anything done, which screwed me for the next. Yeah, it just it threw my whole schedule off, man. What can I say? And on top of that, we got a bunch of yard work's got to get done, man. So, here we go, sending it, getting all the dust out. Watch this. Woo! 
It's wild how much dust builds up back here, man. You can do this every day. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, guys, I need to start getting ready for um, tomorrow's video. So we have, I'll actually have a video up for you guys tomorrow. I'm going to start on the bumpers. I need to get this all masked off and get this section painted black. I think I'm going to pull his carbon fiber hood down, uh, start wet sanding it, get it ready for clear coat. Dude, we need to pull your tail lights off too. Clear coat your tail lights. Um, I got to do the tail. I got to do the headlights and tail lights for Gotham. I don't know if you want to do the tail lights on Venom or not. But yeah, I need, a, I need a tent mine for Gotham. We're going to get a bunch of stuff ready and hopefully just have one big massive freaking spraying party tomorrow. For, I don't know if I'm going to have... Well, jeez. I'm hella behind right now, guys. Just to let you know. So currently, currently Thursday night and I'm trying to get a video up for Thursday, which is going to be this pathetic ass freaking excuse for a video. You know what I ought to do is pull the intake uh, filter off of the uh, ruckus. And see what our top mile an hour is with with no intake. That's this video? Yeah. What do you guys think? Would that be at least an exciting part of the video? Hey, yeah. Grab the GoPro. Shoot. I got my little uni filter pulled off. A little uni filter. So um, a lot of people commented. Now I, I have been doing research on how to make this thing faster, like the variator and the little weights and like all that weird shit. But a, I guess it's a big improvement if you actually just take the filter off. And they do sell little velocity stacks for these things. Like I, there's a lot of people that just run it without a filter, uh, don't have any problems. They just don't, you know, ride them in the rain. I want to try it with no filter and see if we can get a gain on our top mile an hour and the eighth mile. So. It's worth a shot, right? I'm interested to see what no filter does. And while I am doing that, Braven is getting the Integra ready to actually maybe do a little drive really quick. <laughs> if you don't know, the radius arm isn't on on this side. We still haven't gotten a custom radius arm that clears the uh, crank pulley inside of there. So the stock radius arm or the, the, the one that comes from the DA with this traction bar, it actually hits the pulley because the F20 is just such a larger engine. Woo! You better be careful not to scratch them wheels, boy. You better be careful. Yeah, he's gonna get that radius arm put on so we can do a little drive. Like, it doesn't rub like immediately. It's like if you hit bumps or coming up the curb. All right, here we go. my best time what was it? yeah topped out at 40 miles an hour and the eighth mile was 39.9 so my best eighth mile was that 38 something that last one yeah. but I don't know like it felt it, it actually felt like it was maybe a little bit faster like at first like low end but I don't know the numbers don't lie what's the jack bro is the jack on yours now numb nuts ah <laughs> I was say, I was like, I've never heard ah, this man. He's over here bouncing it, and we heard that clunk. I'm like, damn, that's really hitting, yeah. bro. I was like, Wait, that's not touching. It's freaking hitting the jack. <laughs> yeah, you have to like really bounce. Either that, or whenever you're coming up the curb, remember? Yeah, it goes doom. Yeah, it freaking. No, I don't remember. You've driven my car, not me. And it whacks it. <laughs> you were there to experience yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to say. Yeah, you haven't driven it yet because you don't know how. What are you talking don't take about? shots at me, bro. I'll bro, take I've shots driven, at you. I've driven 
You've Four driven Four different stick shift cars. Yeah, all single cam with stock clutches. No. My mom's hatch was in a single cam. Stock clutch. Really soft, gentle this clutch. Is a stock clutch? Okay. No, this has a competition clutch in it. Oh yeah. Numb nuts? I'm racing you don't even, out this you don't even know your damn car. I know my race car. card out, Mr. Comp Clutch. What the hell? Get out of here, bro. So you have a comp clutch sticker on your freaking car. Yeah, because I need a competition clutch, bro. Yeah, my race car because mine's fast. Dude, shut up and get a freaking battery in it so we can start it. Shut up. <laughs> oh, got the damn ra uh, radius arm on this thing. Got the battery in it, everything. It's ready to go, right? Then we realized um, we forgot to bleed the clutch. Like, we still have yet to have bled the clutch on this damn thing, bro. Oh man, this video is such a flop, bro. It really is. It's I mean, already you dark. You could go edit. I mean, and just forget about this. No, it's already dark. You're just gonna. No, let's about get it. Streak? No, let's get it bled, man. Let's get it bled. Okay. As long as I, as long as I make it to get this video up before midnight, I still had a video up today. Damn it, <laughs> dude. I hate doing brake fluid anything on top of fresh paint. Oh, no. Ugh. I got everything protected, bro. Look at that. Got freaking everything all wrapped up with dang old rags. Got a freaking... I don't know why you have a rag right here. Yeah. Why is there a rag right here? I just Anyhow, I zip tied a hose onto the little um, bleeding nipple. And then I have a bottle down here. So we are set, bro. Ready to go. As soon as Braven's done cleaning his window. Yeah, because somebody uh, likes to use a pressure washer in front of my clean car and get splattered watermarks on my car. Well, it's because your freaking car is a lawn ornament and it doesn't ever move. Yeah, whose fault is that? Yours. Go again. Again. We're trying to pump that thing, and it, the thing is, we didn't like uh, bench bleed it at all, so probably gonna have to use the vacuum. Oh, where is it? It used to be just hanging right here. That gangster ass one that right the subscriber sent us. You see it? Oh. Hell freaking yeah. This thing's sitting up here all dusty. This thing's sitting up here all dusty like, bro. This thing is gangster as hell, man. I, I feel like I should start like writing the names of the people like, like whenever they send us stuff like this. Oh, yeah, like write it on there? Yeah, like put a sticker on there with the name, like came from DB Fam, you know, with their name. Because it, it sucks that I can't ever like... Like, I don't remember who sent that, bro. It might have been, like, Josh. Like, you know, like, whenever we grab something out like that, I could be like, thanks again, Josh, or something. Like, whoever sent this out, I'm sure you remember. Uh, shout out to you, man. I appreciate you. It always makes me feel bad, because, I mean, it's just so hard to remember everyone's names, you know? We got our vacuum hooked up, and... Ooh, we should probably put some more fluid in there. Bang, bang. Top that off really quick. Now, I'm gonna crack this open, and just hit the vacuum. Yeah. Well, nothing could ever be freaking easy around here, especially with Braven's freaking Integra. So I just sprayed some uh, carburetor cleaner through his line. This is the line for the that goes from the master down to the slave cylinder on the clutch. Uh, we switched out slave cylinders. Still didn't do anything. For whatever reason, man, it just like all this stuff worked before we tore the car apart. But for whatever reason, now it just doesn't want to bleed, bro. I can't get any fluid out of it. I took the, I took the nipple completely off the slave cylinder, and then he hit the pedal, and and fluid would come out. Like it would just drizzle out. I'm like, okay, maybe that little nipple is clogged up. So we swapped that out with another one that we had in there on the shelf and still the same damn thing it doesn't want to bleed man um i'm just really hoping it's not his damn master cylinder bro like cable to hydro conversion that master cylinder is a pain in the freaking ass bro it worked before we didn't change anything he didn't adjust his rod none of it like it's exactly how it was when it was in the car before we took it out <sighs> All right, well, we have done everything that we freaking can right now. I genuinely think, like, we pulled the line off, sprayed the line out. It's not clogged. We've switched between different slave cylinders. This thing was moving at one point. I don't know why it's not now. Like, he's adjusted the rod all the way in, all the way out, in the middle. Like, it's like nothing we do can we get this thing to freaking bleed right now. I think tomorrow or something, we'll end up just going and picking up a new slave cylinder. And we'll try a new slave cylinder. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything to have a new slave cylinder on the car. You know what I'm saying? Might as well. 
If that doesn't solve the problem, then we need to get that uh, master cylinder out of there and see what kind it is and make sure that we get the same one and just replace that. Yeah, no, I, I know. We've been sitting out here pumping this thing and trying for like an hour now, trying every different thing that we can. It just, what drives me nuts is it worked perfectly fine before we tore it all apart. Like there wasn't any issue with it. But who knows, man, just sitting up there, maybe the seal's inside of it because it was open. Maybe the seal's dried out and dry, I don't know. Who freaking knows, man? This goes to show not every day is all full of fun and freaking, you know, cool stuff. What can I say? Some days are just gonna let you down. I don't know who I'm kidding, man. I had a great day. My freaking yard work is done. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, sorry for the flop ass video, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully with a better one. Peace. Later there, depressed rug head. See you later.